everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we're still on Gatekeeper and we're going to work today on getting a uh, better um, uh, reputation faction with uh, Clan Wolf. We only need one more point to uh, go up to the next level. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm hoping to pull off two missions today. Let's have a look at the command center and then we'll probably jump planets. Uh, once again, we're also trying to get Jade Falcon wrap up so we can bounce back and forth between take, uh, doing Wolf against Falcon and Falcon against Wolf to keep our reputation maxed out with both of them. Uh, that's kind of the goal. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do uh, Reconquest here. Uh, this is a destroy base mission. And then we'll probably do Retribution, uh, which is a battle. But we're going to do this one first. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. It's a four skull against pirates. Um, so we're not going to go full lance. We're not going to go full two lances on this. We'll probably take down six mechs. And we're going to basically target the base and get out. So that's the goal with this one. Now we're going to go full salvage on it though. Um, or, do, or do we want to do that? We could go half salvage. What, 17, eh? Just looking at the uh, rep there. What would I get if I did this? 25 for a four sculler. You know what? I think we'll go with nine. Uh, 313, four. Yeah, let's go this way. We might get something good out of it. You never know, right? And we only need one point and then we have one more mission. We'll get it, uh, get us almost out maxed out with these guys so let's just accept this and we're gonna go with this lance and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in uh, I'm gonna send in where are you Dallas here you are Dallas with the with a lone wolf and probably run um, do we want to go with the uh, AMS mech probably let's bring the AMS mech in and I'm going to run, uh, where are you here? Let's run Goose. Yeah, because she's got um, the ability to uh, minus crit hits on herself. So we're going to take that. And we're going to go this route, I think. Hopefully one of these mechs will get through unscathed. I think we'll be fine, though, with this. So let's deploy. Okay, I should really... What the hell blew up? Somebody blew up on landing, I guess. Uh, <laughs> gotta destroy this base, Commander, you think? That's what kind of why we're here. Just gotta figure out where our extraction point is. So here's our guys. Uh, where are we getting out? There's the facility over there. Apparently you're not gonna tell us where we need to get away. Well, they started by destroying buildings. Wonderful. My guess is it's probably going to be over here somewhere. I'm guessing. I don't know. All right. Well, let's move forward. Let's get that AMS up. Let's make sure we got our overload on for the AMS Mark II. Pull into here. I'm just going to walk up and brace. I don't know if they got any artillery or anything over there. So as we're moving up... Um, Rogue Tech for 181 uh, is still in pre-beta. They're at uh, version 2.2 right now. Uh, so they are making a lot of progress on it. Um, they're still patching and fixing things. They've got their own launcher now. So rather than launching through Steam, through um, uh, your Battletech and Steam, basically it's got its own Rogue Tech launcher, which is nice because it allows you to go ahead and download, um, download files. Let's just... Uh, we're going to be shooting anyway. Um, it basically will download all the patches and stuff on its own. So you don't have to constantly be uninstalling and reinstalling and doing things like that. It'll do it all for you, which is really nice. Okay, let's see. So these are the buildings we got to take out. Large corporate, large corporate, medium corporate, medium corporate. There's somebody here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Nice. Yeah. You're supplying heavy fire. You're not under heavy fire. I gotta get you further forward. You got the big gun here. Let's get up in here. 
So I seriously thought about, I've been raising the skills of the pilots kind of between episodes. I haven't really been showing you what I've been doing. Um, I, I thought about trying to go up the uh, tactics tree for um, Hellion, but it takes so much, so many points because I got to do two levels for every one level, basically, to get it to work. Uh, so I've kind of given up on that. Basically, she's all, um, let's get into here. She's all basically gunnery and piloting. Um, so now she's got piloting nine, which gives her plus two stability, which makes me a little bit more confident with her standing in the middle of a battlefield. Orion, okay. That's her wield assault gun. So I apologize. Somebody mentioned a few episodes back. I think it was episode 60, was it 60 or 61, that rather than um, basically scrapping, my, like if I assemble a mech, rather than scrapping it, I should put it in storage and then sell it, and I'll get two to three times the price. Um, I'll have to test that, and the reason why I say that is because you still need to repair the mech first and then put it in storage, which strips all the gear off it, and then sell it. So I was saying that it's it's um, going to cost me time, not only to repair the damn thing, or money to see bills to repair it, it's also going to take me the time it, in the mech bay it takes to repair it. And some of them are like, you know, 12 to 14 days of repairs, right? Uh, the, one, the mech in question that they were mentioning was the... Uh, I think it was the Ostrock we got, or the Ostel. I think it was the Ostrock. The 60-tonner. It had the CT the, and the left torso and the left arm knocked out completely. So that would have been a major refit. Probably about 400,000, 500,000. Um, so by the time we did that and put it in the bay and then sold it, we wouldn't have made that much out of it. Well, I'm glad that's not me. That's what happens when you drop with low armor. It was so bad that when they dropped, one of their own guys died. At least it seemed that way. I heard the explosion at the start. Why they dropped over here, I don't know. It looks like they did, yeah. One of the guys died when they dropped in. What do we got up here? Arctic Cheetah? Hope we got jump jets. Self-propelled Artie. Okay. Do ya? Oh, that's gotta hurt, man. Those guys are taking a pasting and they haven't even gone yet. Or did they go and they just stood there? Well, that guy's done for up there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, he got dropped in the wrong part of town, guys. Now that building's in the way, isn't it? Is it? No, oh, we're up on the same level as that carrier. You should be able to see it. Oh yeah. I don't want to get too close to them. That's good enough. Leave the barrage off though. We don't need it. And full rack. Let's do this because we can. I don't think we're up against that tough of uh, resistance here. Oh, no kill, eh? You know what I need. I need you to go where they can't shoot you directly. Let's go here. And maybe just do this again. That turret's going to take damage too. The vehicles might too. Two of them down. Nice. I have no idea how much these guys have taken, if anything. Oh, this guy's taken a little bit. Turret, I have no idea. Mm, let's not get where they can see us. There we go. Indirect fire only. You can finish this guy up. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> if you don't kill him, it's going to be a shock. There you go. 
I hope that was a hybrid LRM a, uh, ATM. Ooh, Roughneck. Yeah, not shooting me. Yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what the new Rotec is like. My only thing is the battle map's not functioning, so, you know, whatever. So, you, I mean, it's just going to be you on the map. That's okay. It doesn't bother me in any way. Because I'm not really paying attention to that with these uh, this particular series. In the next series, I'm not going to be paying attention to it either, so... I've been working, I got a, an idea that I want to do for the next series too. I mean, I, I know I, I keep talking about it and it's not come out yet, but um, more and more ideas are taking shape in my mind. I, I want to make it kind of cool too, so make it really enjoyable to watch. So I'm hoping that'll that'll work out. Try to employ a, a little bit more semblance of tactics and strategy and on more of a grand scheme. These pitch battles are nice. I like the idea of just fighting like this, but without any kind of main goal it just seems I don't know it just seems like you're watching an episode of Star Trek every every week you know what I mean it's just something different every week rather than like a continuing storyline and I want to try and make it more of like a continuing storyline so that's the goal uh, now which turret are you seeing not seeing this guy oh, that's the guy I want though there we go Let's get into here. Give us a nice solid red line. Beautiful. This guy looks like he could be dangerous, but not for long at 87% with direct fire. See ya. Get a gun on that thing. That turret is gone. <laughs> I love how he says that. It's just so matter of fact. That turret is gone. It's gone. Just want to say that it's gone. So Fist of Dorn noticed something uh, that I really wasn't paying attention to. The heavy Gauss rifle is supposed to have damage drop off, but apparently it's been doing like full damage at this range. So we're going to have a look here when I fire. If it hits, it should do like it's supposed to do 180, but it's it's got theoretically damage drop off. So at that range, it shouldn't do 180, but we'll fire and see what happens here. Yeah, 120. So it didn't do full damage. So we lost we lost 30 33% of our damage at that range. But still though, 120 at that range, and that's without warlord too, right? Yeah, finally you're shooting somebody, man. Get in the fight. I'd have been backing up more towards me, but whatever. We can't come to save you, unfortunately. So, I don't know how many turrets they got left. But yeah, there goes that vehicle. That's the Orion. And if you don't like me calling it an Orion, well, that's just too bad. Okay, what do we shoot? That would be that rough neck. Do I want to drop some missiles? I think I want to drop some missiles on the turret. This is the... What is this guy? Merkiva. That's... Merkava, sorry. I'm thinking Merkiva. It's the uh, it's the uh, Israeli uh, tank. Um, yeah. No, he doesn't want it, but you're going to give it to him anyway. So next turn, we should take that turret in the building. Bye. There goes our there goes our help. That's the first mission we've ever played where we lost all of our help. They died in in two turns. They were all gone. Okay, where's that last turret? Should be one more turret here somewhere. There's you. Here. We just haven't spotted it yet. Okay. So, let's get up here. Let's get the Bala the Clam a tank. This guy's 75 tons, so we're leaving the barrage on. 52%, huh? Taking it. Get your and I'll see you and in 
Well, we got the building too. <laughs> you got every building between here and there. <laughs> Took out them all. Well, yes, we got a clear line of fire now. <laughs> Where's the LZ? Where's our LZ here? Oh, come on. Oh, it's back here. Oh, that's not bad. Let's get that last turret, though. All right, Goose, this is reserve here. Yes, Commander. Workhorse. We're going to work on getting rid of this last turret. We'll get a bonus for killing all the turrets, I think. Might as well pick up 10%. There you go. <laughs> he's just... He's just so matter-of-fact. Eh, it's done. Can we go now? Copy that. Time to go home, guys. Come on. We have to stay here. Um, so let's look at taking out this... There you are. The Orion. I'm going to keep calling it that forever, guys. The Orion. That and the Chikeda. Um, 16%. I don't know if it's better to do this than it is to try and hit him straight on. Lots of armor. You are not for fucks. This guy's got no armor though. Ready for order. I need you to drop some shiz on this guy over here. You're out of ATM range from here? Oh, he just vanished, that's why. He vanished. So we got the Roughneck and something else over here. I can't remember what this was. I don't think it was a vehicle. I don't think it was a mech. Here comes the Roughneck. Anyone living in that, in that fourth floor is dead. All those rounds went in through the windows there. Sorry about that, guys. They don't call me attack and destroy for nothing. Destroying a lot of things while we attack. Yeah, some kind of artillery mech or artillery vehicle. We never got that last turret. Uh waiting for orders. Let's go. It's not the best place to go, but at least the Orion will still be within our uh our, our sorry, our Zeus will still be within our uh, AMS range here and we'll drop some lerms on this guy. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, vehicle just moved up here. I'm here. Affirmative. This thing is so slow. All right, let's see what we can do to this guy. Forty-three percent. We're gonna warlord it. So it should be. It's about the same range. Should be about one twenty damage if we hit. I don't know if that hit him or the. Building behind. Okay, there's that turret. That one was a bad one right there. You should be able to shred that turret. Damn it. I'm taking some serious hits. I'm losing armor bad. You are not. Oh, it's on. Forget it. We're clearing the house here. It's on. Commander. You want to play games? We'll play games. Moving. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Of course, they suckered me into it. Well, shred them. That was a critical hit. 
You look drunk, buddy. Have a seat. Scratch the friggin' paint, I'm telling you. All right, let's see what our chance, direct fire chances to hit are here. So that's the quick draw. That's the guy on the ground. That's the Hetzer, which isn't bad, and he's taking a lot of damage. He's got dead fire. We should probably toast him. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this again. So the Hetzer's taking damage kind of at the back, so we're going to drop this right in here. There we go. Oh, didn't kill him. Did not kill him. This is a multi. This is a Maltese Falcon here. Following you. And you. And the sixes will go to B, and the other ones will go to A. Hopefully that'll be enough. Well, there goes his... He's got nothing left. God, still nothing on that guy. He's got, like, no armor left. Sometimes I wonder why I take multi-target. Most of the time, it's like... I, I never get what I want out of it anyway. And then there's my main guy who doesn't have multi-target, and I'm like, I just wish I always had it. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Oh, we got a whole other mission to do here yet, guys. I wonder where the, reinf well, the reinforcements are back here. Okay, they're far enough away. Who's going? Order. That was probably reinforcements. We don't have eyes on that. We don't. Just hoping we had eyes. Oh, that's the guy on the ground. Just hoping we had eyes on the uh, t uh, turret. On it. F you. That's a kill. Guys, guys, so matter of fact. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I got him. I'm here. Hellion's gone AWOL. You gotta get up here with your AMSs. She's PO'd at something. Uh, you know what? Let's just go this route and see if we can get this guy to bail. He's got nothing left, so... He's panicking. He's not going to bail, though. I'm receiving you. You can have as many flames in the way as you want. You're never going to overheat this mech. It's just not possible. God, the turret's still not there. I can't see this guy. Like, it's just not possible to overheat this mech. Didn't want to bail out. It's his fault. His fault. Dollar value doubled, top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that Hellion wants to kill. Oh, we only got, well, her rotary's jammed anyway. Maybe we'll get the head, sir. Nope, that guy's gonna last forever. Guy's gonna last forever. Come on. 
I'd be interested to see what they got as reinforcements. Reading you. Reading you. Get the AMS up here. We need it more up here than we do at the back. The overloader one is jammed. Drop some missiles on okay. this guy. Let's hope we get him. Looks like plenty of damage. Yeah, finally. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to go. Well, you don't need to move. God, these guys have no armor at all on this side. There's another vehicle over here somewhere. What was that? Oh, here's the Lance coming in. Arctic Cheetah Prime, Raven 2, Catapult 2. Okay. Yes, Commander. Oh, shit. She's got stealth too, man. It's like, good luck hitting her. It's out of range with the heavy with a catapult. But it's the best chance to hit with the regulars. Whoa, I can't hit. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, here it comes. 45, huh? And a miss. Alright. I'm liking the Goss loadout. I think it's missing some, some other shorter range weapons to add punchy damage, but it's all a weight thing. I thought about maybe um, after uh, reading some of the comments, swapping out the, uh, the heavy um, Goss rifle with perhaps... Um, with perhaps a, um, hang on a minute here, here we go, with a um, hyper velocity Gauss rifle, um, and then put a couple of other weapons in, but I don't know, I'm liking the 180 damage idea. Just back up so that guy doesn't get direct sight on you. I, I like the I, li I like the idea of the 180 pinpoint at relatively close ranges, even at that one even at that range there where it was just kind of outside medium range where we fired it was 120 damage still. It's I mean it's, I know for the weight um, yes, we might be able to do more damage, but you won't be able to do more pinpoint damage than that. Those guys are all blipping out now. Let's just hit this guy. Actually, let's. Uh, Do this you got it. and see if we can switch to HE. We should be able to kill this guy then. Oh, we got everything up here. No, we can't use HE, unfortunately. I'm gonna leave the barrage off though. I don't think we need the barrage on this guy. How many times have I said that? I got yeah, see? Should have used it. Critical hit, Commander. Should have used it. Yeah, well. Should stop thinking about not using overkill and just just think about kill. I guess I really should just be using it at, at a mission like this cuz yes, AMS range, beautiful. Because on a mission like this, it's um Yeah. On a mission like this, it's it doesn't really uh make a big big deal if we use it early Confirm. oh this is uh, a thunderbolt
Guy's taking splash damage and splash stability damage. It's beautiful. Quick draw's got balls. I'll give him that. I mean, he won't have them in a minute, but... He had him for a bit there. Minefield on the way, huh? Well, I don't think we can say no to a back shot over here, though. Ooh. Somebody's in ECM range. We gotta kill that raven. Firing. Couple of good hits. Streaks hit. Beautiful. Oh, it's an Eris. It's an Eris. I wonder why we can't see the damn turret yet. It's got some pretty heavy ECM or stealth or something on it. Something going on over there. Hopefully he's moving to a point where the other guys aren't going to get the uh, the defensive p potential of that guy. You know what I'm saying? Can we get his back? We cannot. But we will move up here and shoot his side. AMS is jammed again. No biggie. Uh, let's use it all. Blur. There we go. I'm interested to see what the performance is like on the new version. Commander. Commander. Yeah, the quick draw has decided to move to a position where we can't. Uh, all right. Well. But he is in HE range. We'll take that. See ya. One less time. He did have some cojones though. Okay, move around here. That raven might come around this side. We might get a shot at him. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. That's so raven. Thirty-two. Nineteen. Let's take the thirty-two. Hopefully we can knock his ass down. Unlikely, but... I think he's been moving and bracing, so... Yeah, it won't matter. <laughs> we got a green line. Uh, yes, Dallas. Confirmed that uh, Eris has been green-lighted. 156 at that range. That's not bad. Yeah, you know, I, I know I've said this a thousand times, I am not a fan, fan of damage drop-off, but when you're starting with damage at 180, and you're still hitting for 120, even at a fair range, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I mean, you're losing 60 points of damage, but still you're hitting for 120, It's and that's not Warlorded either, right? And the, the chances to hit are good. I mean, she's got pretty good chances to hit at that range, you know, because of how good she is and the, the targeting systems we got on this mech, so I can't really be complaining, Commander. you know? Location confirmed. I think those other mechs have ran away. Eh, we're jammed, but we'll put the barrage on it. Confirmed. Looks like the barrage hit. It's not a kill, but it will be in a minute. Destroy Empire bases is how we roll. Okay, Mastodon. On my way. What do you think, buddy? I think you could take like a 12% chance here. Oh, 54. Are you kidding me? We'll take that. Jeez, 60% chance to hit? Now you got no cover. Oh god, that's just so, uh... Sometimes it's so unnerving when you hear the screams from the building. Ah, I know it's not supposed to be screams. It's probably supposed to be, uh... We won't be able to get that guy. 
just building sounds but still sounds like screams can't hit that guy oh because the he right we should be able to hit him now what what I'm on the move. one hex too far maybe I don't know that's good chances for me turret disappeared well sorry buddy but I can't see the turret Got it. I was gonna kill the turret but I guess it's you there goes their stealth One last target. let's get over here in case we need you on that turret highly unlikely I could have bailed out of this mission, I guess, but we did take 417 salvage, so let's see what we get. This will at least give us, uh, I mean, if depending on how many pieces of the Orion are available, at least give us some chances to get some half-decent uh, salvage out of this. Let's hope that turret comes back. Nope. Is that turret dead? Can't be dead. Can it? It's a command bunker, so maybe it's got some heavy-ass stealth or something in it. I don't know. We got goose left, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, might as well... F well, it's really hot heating up, but we're fine. Fire it all. Well, we pen, but not quite enough. Scored a critical hit. Nicely done. AMS is back. Armor's about falling off right there. I'm yeah. Fire. This thing is the bane of my existence. Confirmed. I can't hit the turret, but I can shoot this guy. I love the fact that the dashi can just walk through like blazing infernos <laughs> and not have to worry about anything. Okay, that catapult went back here. Screw you! Well, we definitely didn't kill him. But maybe we did some damage, I don't know. Commander. I want to try something here. Where's that turret? I don't know if we're going to do any damage to it, but can't see the damn thing. I might as well try something. On my way. Double time. I don't know. Whatever. I'm here. Double time. Let's go. Okay. Interested to see how much damage we do. Here it comes. 
I think we missed with the big one. I think we missed with the big one. I saw a pair of 108s, which was the Gauss, regular Gauss rifles. Yeah, we didn't hit with the big one. At 80, what, 90 something percent chance to hit, we didn't hit. Wow. They got three guys back there still too. And there's one guy from the, oh, you know what? There's a vehicle. Where, there was a vehicle out over here. I bet you that's it's still there. Ready for orders. Bet you it's still there. Uh, no, let's reserve you. I don't want to use those just yet. Thank you. Like you, like it very much. Let's get down off that. Beautiful. Hearing somebody over there moving. Go ahead, try and shoot me in the back. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Guy's too far away. Not for you, we won't be. On my way. Double time. Not for you. Here it comes. God, he's taking about 30% damage already from the arrows. Thirty percent armor damage, that is. I guess he was where we shot the last is he? Did we shoot here? Or did we shoot a little we shot over here, I thought. Oh maybe it was there. I'll find out in a minute. I'm receiving you. Confirm. Okay. Yes, Commander. Walk it up. Just walk it up. All right. Just going to fire on the guy. Well, even if we don't hit anything, it's, <laughs> it sure looks destructive as hell. Look at that. Oh, we cleared the building out of the way. That's why. That's why I can shoot him now. Yeah, firing. See ya. That's what you call cleanup is what that is. Commander. Uh... Where is everybody? They must have somebody trapped off the map board too. Where's our extraction? We're just going to head towards extraction. If we spot people, great. If we don't, we don't. You need to cool off anyway. Uh, let's just use this because we got tons. Ah, oh, man. If you hadn't have pissed me off, we'd be out of here already. I'm here. Okay, big guns. Get up here. Strangely enough, this dashy, I was worried about it being on the front lines. So it's going to be on the front lines anyway with the stealth and the gas rifles and everything. Oh, there's that vehicle. All that for 10 points of damage. Good to go. Dude, we got a... Uh... Oh, you can't get him from there? There you go. No shooting, just running. Learn battle. I don't know where that catapult is. Some heavy 
<laughs> yep. Probably hit the ammo. I think the catapult ran. I think he ran. I'm not chasing him down. He's got lots of room back here to run, though. Or does he? It seems to stop right here. I don't see the yellow line anywhere, though. Yeah. No. How far back does it go? Ah, whatever. Good to go. Well, he may have gone back here. Let's see if... <laughs> I got the ammo. I might as well use it. Uh, be faster this way, I guess. Alright guys, I'm going to move to the out point, and if, we, if I encounter somebody, I'll cut back in, but if we don't, then I'll just cut back when our last mech is on the way out. Okay, well we just spotted the catapult. He's up over here what I thought he was trying to run away so we're gonna target him this turn it was just one turn later I also saw a Phoenix Hawk jump and he just he appeared and then he disappeared I don't know where the hell he is back there and that guy disappeared again oh you're making it tough for me buddy making it tough back here somewhere Still alive. Alright, if they come back, I'll, uh, once again, I'll cut back in. Alright, guys, here's our last move. Just going out. Uh, man, we didn't... I saw the Phoenix Hawk run over here, too. But the catapult didn't do anything. The Phoenix Hawk just kind of ran over there, and that was it. Not going to bother chasing him down when we can just get out of here. We got more shiz we got to do. All right, contract payment increased by 35%, which is nice. That should cover our damages, uh, which we did take a bit. Kind of lost it there for a second and went after them. Probably shouldn't be doing things like that, but, you know, it's me. Take those two pieces. Uh, Aeris piece, but we don't really have any other Aeris pieces. Uh, what else do we have? ELRM-5, meh. Lots of ER medium lasers, small blaze fires, laser AMS. Wow, three LRM twenties. Uh, plasma cannon. It's one thing we haven't used in a while is a plasma cannon, but it does, you know, I don't know. Uh there's nowhere to put it though, right? Another tag barrage. T Semp. I think we need ammo for this now, don't we? Don't think so. Active probe clan. It's just lighter than the regular active probe. Uh, exchange your triple plus, or double plus, I mean. Let's take that guy. Those things are always usable. Omnipod, a lower arm, that's even... That's valuable, too. Range finder was... That's not bad. I don't know where we would put it, though. Weapon mouse, we don't really have any use for anymore. I got two sitting around. I can't use them on any of the Omnimax, unfortunately. Um, and then ammo. Sniper ammo. Ah, there's nothing really down here I want. I mean, we could take the three tons of uh, Artemis in case we need it in the future as a backup, or we could take this. Because I know we can get some use out of this. We do need another one of these guys. Got one already still. Um... Backup Amno or that? Oh, there's a heat bank too. This inner sphere, minus one heat per turn. Kind of a waste. 
Uh, ah, I don't know. All right, I'm going to take this. It seems crazy, but I'm going to do it. All right, see what we get here. All right, Eris part, quick draw part, Raven part. That's not bad. Remote dis sensor dispenser. We got one of those already. Heat bank. We got the heat bank. Double heat sink, which is nice. Heavy ferro. So we got some pretty good stuff here. Plasma ammo. SRM Inferno. Okay, not bad. All right, 95. Yeah. Knew it was going to be a little bit. All right, let's see what we can do. I think we got the pilots for another mission here. Let's just see if we can go. I think all of our mechs took damage, though. Uh, let's manage to task a bit here. What do we want to take with us? The night gear, AMS, the regular gear. Let's just do this. So we get three mechs back. Then we can choose. Just wait one day. Beautiful. All right, let's go in. Command center. Let's do this other mission real quick. Three skull. Okay. Full salvage, battle, urban, accept. Let's go with, take these guys out. I'm gonna put this guy in. Uh, let's take, uh, all right, let's take uh, Orion. We can go with pair of archers. I mean, we're, we're here for a destructive mission, right? So we're gonna take you. Uh, let's bring Goofy on the Orion. Duck and then spoiler. I mean, we could run the arrow. You know what? We've been we've been having fun with the arrow mech. Let's do that. And then, do we go with Archer? Um, I think so. For indirect firepower? I mean, we could go with the ATM direct indirect build. Tag barrage. Yeah, let's go th Let's go this route in case we have some vehicles and stuff we need to deal with. Uh, well, we've got workhorse. Oh, yeah, he's, ar he's already back. That's right. But he can sit this one out. Um, we're going to get our uh, lower level pods some experience. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Looks like we got some help. That's fine. We don't really need it, but we'll take whatever help we can get. Oh, yeah, this map. All right, so we got two lances on the left here. They might have reinforcements, but we'll see. Now, the last time we played this, we kind of advanced up this way and moved over and shot. Now, we got all ranged guys pretty much. I wonder if we move back here. Yes, I'm thinking. Me there. And because I'm just crazy. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's clear out their cover. work on taking some of these buildings down how much hit points does this thing have no idea well let me right click on it you have I do I've always got orders Confirm. I know it's not a missile mech but you'll have to deal Waiting for orders. I should have put goofy back in this mech I don't know why I didn't Let's see if it'll let me hit the building. Don't know if that was building hits or not. Full throttle. Yeah, not bad speed on this thing. I mean, it definitely lose every race with all my other mechs, but not bad. Oh, we're at the edge of the map here. I didn't realize we were that far back.
What do we got for allies anyway? Arctic Cheetah, Locust 2C, Saracen. Looks like another Arctic Cheetah or something here. What is this? Thorn. And a Svantovit. What do we got up here? Dead meat is what we got. Of course, when don't we? All right, where are they coming from though? That's what I want to know. Further back probably? Meh, whatever. Standing by. Didn't think this was going to be easy, did we? I think that might give us uh That might give us HE range. No, it won't. Uh, I'm going to use the barrage on him. Wow, well, they might have vehicles. Let's hold off. If they got vehicles, I'll use the barrage on the vehicles. Soften this guy up a little bit. We got some big guns coming up here in a second anyway. It'll be a good fight if all 12 of these guys are fully armored, but I highly doubt that. The support lance is probably quarter or half armored or something. What was that? Javelin, okay. Probably the medium laser version since he didn't fire. Oh, what's that? What is this? Bombard? It is. Now, can we get to a point where we can shoot somebody? Yeah! Oh, we can. Just. With everything, if we want to go after this guy. But we'll take this chance to hit on this guy. We're getting low damage on that guy at the back because he's got, uh, he's braced and he's got, uh, protection. Armor um, protection. 30% with the arrows. Should we use them on this guy? 15. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Not a kill, but at least we got some damage on him. Think twice about shooting, I guess. Oof. Okay, not too bad. Oh, Herbie. The PPC B. PPC B. Wait, that's the RM what? 81? I did I mess the map up? No. R81. What's the R81 again? That's not the uh No. What's the one with the big PPC? I can't remember the name of the damn thing now. Barely hit, Commander. Too many mechs, so little time. You know, if I didn't divide my attention amongst a whole bunch of different games and doing other stuff at the, with family and everything like that, I'd probably remember all this shit. <sighs> that, and if I was awake most of the time. I'm always tired, so it's probably part of the reason why I can't remember the names of stuff. I'm working really hard at it. I know I am. It is. Bishop Steiner. My god, I finally got it. The one with the uh, big PPC on the one side and the double PPCs on the other side. I don't think it's that one. Venerable Bishop Steiner, that was what it was. Yeah, okay, I knew I would remember it sooner or later. So they got light carriers, light mortar carriers. We're going to take those out this turn. This guy's not so worried about. So we make sure we get these guys. This javelin is probably going to be doing some scouting. Yeah, it's the medium laser version. Those things run hot, so I'm not really that worried about it. 
but apparently he's not running hot. Okay, get up into here. Your job, should you choose to accept it, is this guy. Gotta make sure he's gone. Reporting enemy vehicle we do not have an AMS mech, so... Don't get close to me, you guys. I'm gonna be attracting fire. Spoiler alert. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's go with everything. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take the couple points of damage. Oh, one, one, one point of damage. What do you say we uh, mess this guy up a little bit? Could that be a kill? Possibly. What's the chance on... That's out of range. Let's go all out on this guy. Well, he's certainly having a bad day. I wonder if they took headshots. <laughs> Freaking shredded. <laughs> it's gonna suck moving forward to fire your four medium lasers and miss with all of them and then get shredded by an ATM mech. He just has no idea what he ran into. He just, what the hell was that? <laughs> ah, nice, the Bombard, man. Looks like they penetrated, penetrated too. I think the Bombard's got lower armor. Didn't really pay attention. But as long as you're attracting the fire, you track that fire, man. You attract all of the fire. Okay, trying to stay at long range. We could kill this guy. Or we could fire at this guy. I think it's better to go at this guy. He's got rotary twos. Engaging target. Well, stripping armor, but that's about it. Yeah, heavily stripped the armor. Oof, almost lost his arm. I think those rotaries are in the torso, though. I think the arms are pretty much barren. Don't know how accurate the rotary rotaries would be in the torso. Although I'm finding the heavy gauss with the, with the turret mount in the torso being pretty accurate. More so than the gosses in the arms. But I don't think I can fit... I tried to I think I tried to put a lower arm mount on with the Gauss rifle on that second dashi, um, but it wouldn't let me do it because I think the Gauss rifle uh, you can't have a lower arm like you can't add a lower arm bracket or something for the Gauss rifle or whatever it is. It takes the slot of that or something, so it didn't let me do it for that extra plus one to hit. That would be nice, but. I, I thought seriously about maybe trying to use a targeting computer rather than leaving the hag in there, but but the hag computer is just so nice. The minus one recoil, the plus two to hit, plus 20% damage. I can't, there's nothing that can compare to that. Fire starter, full strength. Thanks for showing up with the large pulse. Large pules. Nope, 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 right there. Yes, Commander. Because we got some killing to do here. Nope, nope. 
Yep. Time for the warlord. Here it comes. He lost something. Hope it was his leg. Yep. Going down. Might be able to pull that other leg off now. God, he's got a lot of damage reduction, that guy. A lot of damage reduction. Not so much anymore. Okay, let's get this guy into here. We got some direct fire happening now. Let's go after... Wow, you got the stealth going on over there. That is the catapult. We don't want to go after him. Fire starter. Raptor. Let's see what the raptor... Where is he? Over here. Is he full? He's full strength, eh? Uh, let's do this then. Let's do this. We got the bombard. Major armor loss. Wow. We got the bombard. That's crazy. Oh, that, oh there's, those guys are weakened armor, that's why. Okay, if we can pull the leg out this catapult, then really it's just this guy. Right? Weakened, weakened, weakened. There should be one more then. This was a full... No, this was a weakened vehicle. So there should be another full strength mech here somewhere. The support lance almost gone. Who was, who was the last guy in the support lance? Irby, right? Yeah. Infiltrator. You know what, this guy hasn't fired yet. And we had the best chance to hit him, so let's get rid of him, and then I'll worry about that the other leg on that catapult. Yeah, that was the one. The Venerable Bishop Steiner with the PPC and the stealth and the whatever the hell else he's got. Maybe it wasn't the Bishop Steiner. It's a stealth one anyway. I don't know. It's an Irby with a PPC that I don't want to get shot at by. I think it had a PPC capacitor and everything in it. All right. Ready for orders. Actually, you know what? Let's shoot first and then jump and ask questions later. Wow, that's too far away. Well, that's because I have HE activated. Could you shoot that guy? How much has he got left in the CT? Almost nothing. No, let's do this. Roger. There you go. Hostile eliminated. There's mines everywhere, except for here. Affirmative. Stay out of the minefield. Well, at least our escorts aren't uh, completely shredded in two turns. Come on, finish him up. I'm surprised that guy's not bailing out. I guess he can't get off the building. There you go. There you go! Oh, he's off the building. Just looks like he wasn't. So now we've got this guy and something else up here. That hasn't made itself known. Could be a stealth. Be 
that. All right, let's go over here. Do this. No idea. Oh, here we go. Nico Kage. 73% on you. 42, 16. Let's go direct fire on this guy. Engaging. Missed with the tag, looks like. All right, we stripped a bit of armor. Something else moving up on this side. Oh, the Nikol Kage is showing us his back. See ya. Well, that's what happens when you try and run. I leap, I soar, and take one point damage. Okay, I think we're gonna put drop the arrows on the raven. Well, maybe not. Maybe we should just finish up this fire starter. I want to see if he's gonna run though. I don't know. He might run. Yeah, spoiler alert. Let's get right up in here. Close the distance slightly. Uh, we can't go with the mediums, unfortunately. Let's leave them off. Just fire the two arrows. Oh. Looked like they both hit. Yep. Did we just take his head off? That looked like we just took his head off. I guess we have to jump down from here. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like we're jumping. Should make this a challenge and just come down with one mech for crying out loud. See how long the dash would just last by itself. The benefit is that it's all energy. But the drawback is it's got all its weapons in its arms, so if we lose an arm, we're like we're like half a wep yeah, half half our weapons left. Alright, let's do this. Oh, finally someone's coming around this way. Nice. Ah, oh, that's so Raven. Gonna need more than a tag, buddy. Gonna need more than a tag. Good to go. Come on. Okay, not bad. Okay, can we jump down? Let's just move over here. We'll jump down next turn. Hopefully we can jump down. I don't feel like jumping on a building. It's always a bad idea. Okay, we should be able to wreck this guy. He's basically running to a fire line line. He's dead meat. Drop the arrows on this raptor. Okay. Yes, Commander. Okay, good shooting. And you don't have jump jets. Because why did I not put jump jets on you? Sure, it was a weight issue. Come on. Oh, what do we got back here? Two more mechs back here. We got Exterminator. 
and a griffin. Meh. I think we got exterminator parts though. Twenty percent, eh? Thirty-seven on the griffin. Forty-three on the exterminator. Forty-three on you. Let's go with the forty-three. Soften him up a little bit before he gets into battle. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for being part of the team. Yep. Shred him! I love that I can fire everything and like no heat goes up. It's just so brilliant. <laughs> okay, come on you guys. I gotta go for dinner here. I can smell my dinner downstairs. My wife's already called me. It's gonna get cold. Come on. Come into the firing line. Oh ye piratous mechs of little faith. Keep going. No. There you are. You little bastard. Is he in the firing lane? Almost. Just partially covered by the building. I think we can probably jump over and get a get an eye on him. That raptor's gotta figure out what it's doing. Just gonna sit there. You have orders? I do. Oh yeah, man. There's your orders right there. Didn't quite get behind the building. We'll see you later. Confirmed. We hit the building? I guess we did. What's up, boss? There we go. We can finally get down here. Fire on this guy. Soften him a little bit. Give him a little bit of softness. Alright, what do you got? You got no targets? What? I'm tabbing him. You're not going to give me a target? Oh, it's a move. That's why. 30. 30. 17. Yep, thank you very much. No point in moving. Where are you going? Any damage is better than no damage. Arrows back. Let's use it. Firing everything on this guy. Engaging target. See ya. That griffin should round the corner next turn and die like the rest. I don't know, maybe he'll chicken out. If he does, then I don't know. If he does, my wife will be furious at me. Fingers crossed. But then again, you know what? I know better than to start a uh, recording before dinner when I come home after work. Just so excited to get back into the uh, match here again. It's the debut. I'm, this one's gonna. This is tomorrow's episode, or I guess your today's was yesterday for me. Um, so yeah, just trying to get. I, I want to try and get my life back to a point where at least I can record an episode a night. That way, all the comments. I've been feeling kind of guilty because I can't. Oh really? I can't really. Um, I can't really uh, respond to the comments this, the way I normally would if I was recording every night because then I could do things and try things the next night after somebody says something. But right now it's like I, I just can't do that. Just because of work and stuff, right? But I'm trying to get my life back to a point where it's uh, 
a little bit better. Well, maybe we cleared the buildings. Receiving you. There we go. Aye, aye. Now we can finish this guy up, hopefully. Hit him with everything. Firing on target. Tango down. Then there was one. And he doesn't have any cover. Wait. Oh, he's behind a ramp. Engaging jump jets. Gotta go after him. I should just send the night gear after him. Alright, let's hang out. Roger. Venting heat stabilizing. Okay, we got spoiler goofy duck infiltrator. Oh, he's gonna fight. Hey, he actually hit too. Damage minimal. No. Did he hit? He hit, right? It said fifty. Where'd you hit? Nowhere. Really? Oh, a one point damage there. I don't know. I don't know where you hit. If you hit anybody at all. What's the plan? Oh, sure, Warlord did it. Should have Warlorded it. Spoiler alert. God, it's got to be terrifying watching those things come in. The arrows. They're big, fast, slow-moving missiles. It's just like, oh! Orders. See if you can burrow through his side here. Oh, he does have, uh... Does have some kind of ECM here. Not that it helps. Okay, he's going down. Some heavy damage. All right, let's see if I can pull his leg off. Come on. Give me my turn. We need salvage. I need dinner. Step out. Get a better chance to hit on him. That's a lot of armor on that leg. Let's try and kill him then. There it is, folks. Enemy mech destroyed. Let's go home. Mission successful. All right, there we go. Contract payment increased by 20%. That should get, definitely cover any damages that we took, which wasn't much. Almost no experience, but spoiler got a bunch. So that's good. A couple of kills on him too. Uh, what else do we got down here? Exterminator parts. This is the 6W. I think we have one extra one lying around, so I'm going to take two of those. Broadside. What's this? Uses mortar ammo. 10 tons. 690 meter range. Indirect fire. Immune to AMS. Cannot be fired at flying targets. I guess this was on the... Uh, the Bombard, eh? Pirate PPC, PPC Magna. Little weight, little lighter. Fire control system tag. It's kind of bizarre. Mortars, rotary two risk. We already got one of these. Small improved heavies tags. R12, R24. Compact heat sinks. Eh. XL Core. Dreadnought Gyro. Yeah, see, we should have... Oh, that's... Yeah, we should have waited. 
Oh well. PPC capacitor. We gotta activate it. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Tracker sensors. We are out of those. Triple strength Myomars, man. If we had a melee mech, definitely be we'd be using that. They're very rare though. I haven't seen very many of them. Now we don't have much mortar ammo, so if I did take that mortar. You know what? I'm gonna pull myself out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna put the broadside in there for now. I'm gonna take that. And if we got a chance to use a great I think we do have a bit of mortar ammo ammo, but not much. So we'll just have to see. Okay, Griffin part, catapult three part. Uh, yeah, what else? Medium pulses, stuff we can sell, powered sensors, seven heat sinks, UAV, okay. All right, that was like no damage at all. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. All right, let's have a quick look before I go for dinner here in the mech bay. I want to see if we did get anything that we could put together to figure out what to do for the uh, financial report here. Yeah, we could put together an exterminator. So... Um... doesn't say what this version's got compared to this one. Most guarded secret of SLDF, combining even more advanced luck. So we want to make, assemble this guy. So let's ready this guy. Okay. Light polarization shield, eh? Uh, we do not have enough to make an Orion, but at least we do have two parts so that we can go ahead and do that later. Yeah, we just don't have the mech parts. And that's fine. Let's have a look at the base real quick. We're most likely going to sell this guy, but let's have a look and see what it's got on it. We've got the AR-14, which is not bad. Not sure if that's... I think that's better than the AR-12. Plus one initiative, not bad. UAV, uh, optics lasers, a couple of them. LRM-10 Zeus, Jump Jet Heavy, Improved, two of them, Patchworks. All right, not too well, Royal, Royal Heatsink Kit. Uh, we can't take it out of here, though. But we got the Endo and the Chameleon. Oh, a 385 core, that's fast. Anyway, this is a trashable mech, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I unfortunately do not have the C-Bills to repair this, and... Uh, and sell, but we are going to trash it. What are we, can we get for this? There's a million. Beautiful. So we've got our financial report. Excellent. So we're, I mean, we're only a few days away from financial report anyway. i got eight days to go. We might be able to pull off another mission here. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to jump because I want to go and see if we can get a Jade Falcon mission somewhere. But that will be for next episode. I am going to leave this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.